Hey girls. Hey girl, hey. It is the 15th of September. It's a little bit after 9 o'clock and I'm home. And girls, when I tell you Okay, first, let's filter out the room. I'm gonna need Tredis, Lucius, Tremaine, Darnell, Tr uh, uh, Cornelius, Quentin, uh, Herman. Uh, if this ain't your thing, baby, you don't have to sit in here on this one. Because this is just a girl's kind of catching up and me just sharing what I'm feeling to my girls. And if y'all really ain't about this one, then therefore you don't have to sit in here on this one. Because this is going to be kind of mushy. And, and, you know, it's just some girl shit. So, you know, if you ain't really on that on that one right there and you really just came on here to just, you know, let me see what she's talking about, then that's what I'm talking about, okay? So it, it's up to you. If you want to sit in here and post up and check out what we're doing or if y'all just like, you know what, deuces up out of this one, then it's no problem, no harm, no foul. We're going to keep it pushing. But anyway, girls, hey, girl, hey. It's a fly in here fucking with me. Oh, see? Now, I ain't gonna be able to do... Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Damn it. It's a fly in here. Fuck. Ain't this a bitch? Where'd his ass go? Damn it. And, and the cold part about it is I got my door open. I just came in from outside. So, anyway, I'm not even gonna trip on all that. Let's get down to let's get down to it. I am home and I had the most romantic um magnetic um booed up um bold up. <laughs> Uh, so many things. I, oh my God. Oh my God. I did not know where we were going. I did not know all the specifics. All I know is, Tina, let's just go. And I was like, okay, let's just go. We had talked about a few things. We had talked about, um, 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 Catalina. We had talked about the, um, Grand Canyon. We had talked about... Because I was saying that I wanted to go through, because um, one day he he was asking me, you know, what do you, what, what do you want to do? Where do you want to go? Like, just to just go. And I was naming off different things, and I was telling him that um, there's this big tree um, out in the um, Angeles Mountains, and you could drive a car through it. It's like the, the tree is like hollowed out in the center, and like you could drive your car through it. And I was telling him that I want to go, and he was like, oh, I've been there. And um, he was like, yeah, you know, to get away for him to create and for him to do some of the things that he do. Sometimes you have to just kind of go there. So just out of the blue places and to just go to like solitude is some of the things that he does. And so um, he was like, cool, no problem. We're going to do all that. So and I was like, okay. So when he just bust up and said, Tina, let's just go. Let's just let's just go. You know, um, if you're able to get away, then um, I'm gonna make some plans, and we're just gonna we're just gonna get in the wind. So I was like, okay. So I was like, okay. I was trying to find me a swimsuit. I had put it on Facebook um, that I needed me a swimsuit. Oh, let me let me get it right quick so I can show y'all my swimsuit. I went to Forever 21. My girl Ashley on my Facebook had hit me up, and so she was like, um, cause I was saying, you know, where can I go? You know, to get me a, you know, a nice swimsuit and stuff. So, and I had never, ever, ever been to Forever 21 shopping for me. Ever. I had never bought no accessories from them. The only time I went through Forever 21 is I was actually going through there to get into the mall. So, I had never, I didn't know what, I knew they sold women's clothing, but all about them, I didn't know. And our, um, our, um... Forever 21 is an old Macy. No, it's the old Macy's, the old Robinson's May. 
one of them, one of them old buildings. So it's huge and it has like an upstairs and down and all that. But I never really fucked with them. So I didn't even know what, how they got down or whatever. So um, when Ashley was like, well, auntie, why don't you go there? I was like, okay, Ash, I'm going to go over there. So I go over there and oh my God, blew my mind. I bought this swimsuit right here. And um, let me show y'all the size. So when y'all see me, any of y'all gonna be tripping that it's a small, okay? It's a small. As big as my ass is, I was tripping. But it was on the clearance and I liked the colors. So I was like, oh my God, I don't know if I could fit this, but maybe it'll be something that, you know, cause still I weigh 183 pounds now. So I actually lost two pounds from the um, 185 that I was, what, about a couple months ago, and I was, like, trying to get down to um, um, 175, one 183. I'm 183 this morning. So, you know, I don't know. If I ever get down to 175, it's good. If not, it's, it's no problem. Uh, I'm not tripping, and my baby not tripping either, so we're going to let the good times roll. You feel me? Now, I am going to lean it out a little bit. I'm going to lean it out. I'm going to get some muscle tone up under me and all that kind of stuff. So I am going to do that kind of stuff. But, you know, and if it takes me to 175, then that's cool. But that's really going to be my cutoff because I don't want to be kind of sucked in. And, you know, when I was, because I had gotten down to 178. 178 was my lowest. And that's when I was going to the sun. I was getting in the sun almost, I mean, like, every night. Almost seven days out of the week, I was in the sauna. I was steaming. I was juicing. I was smoothing. I was all that. And I was 178. And I was like, cool, but, you know, and then, too, I was going through some food aversions. I wasn't really eating really tough, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's the reason how I had got down there. But I had got to 178, and it was just a matter of eight motherfucking days before I got back up to 180. So maybe my body is more accustomed to being around that 180. That's just a normal weight for me. And if that's the case, 180 it is, 180 it is. Give me some muscle on it, and I'm good. You know what I mean? Bring down the fat percentage, increase the muscle, and still level me out around that 180, and I'm winning with it. But anyway... Ashley, this is Auntie Swimsuit, and it fits. Y'all will see me in this. I don't even know how it fits, but it fits. <laughs> but my waist is like a 28. So maybe that is the reason is the fact that I have no stomach and I have none of this. I do have these girls and I have my hips, but I don't have no middle. So I think that is the reason why. And then, too, because of the cutout around the waist. It, that's what's making it fit, you know. So, anyway, so this is Auntie's um, new swimsuit. And I got it from Forever 21. Let me see. Let me see. Forever 21. And let me show you the size. U.S. small, the top one at the top. Let's see. U.S. small C A P M X S P B R P. I don't know what all that shit is. E U thirty six. Okay, that's European thirty six thirty eight. U K six to eight. So yeah, so I got us. That's what they had, and I was like, you know what? I didn't know if it was gonna fit or not, and I just liked the color. So I was like, you know what? I'm a, mm -hmm, what the fuck? You know what I mean? I was thinking about the color, and I was thinking about with my cover up, you know. Up, you know, over it that, you know, you would simply see the color and see more silhouette. And so, you know, that's where my vision was taking me. So, but you guys will see me in this because I will be swimming in it at the house anyway. So, you guys will see it. But I wanted to just, you know, show y'all to confirm, you know, that I got the swimsuit. I got a small. It was on clearance. And I ended up paying like $3 and something for it. Right. It was like two ninety eight. dollars <laughs> So what was a girl to do? Because actually, the clearance tag said, "Let me see, is it over here? Hold on one second, because I think that I didn't, I didn't, I didn't um take this. The tag's too far off. I mean, too far away. Because I think I still got my tag. I think I'm not sure. Apparently not, because I don't see it. But um, anyway, the tag." I think the tag had said 
seven dollars, seven ninety eight or something like that. No, ten ninety eight or something. And then when I got to the registers, I think it was like seventy percent off or some shit like that. There, it was like. You know, I don't know, something percentage off. So when she, all together, it was like three something. So she was like, okay, that'll be 412 or 411 or something like that. So I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Give me that, please. Yes, I'll take that. And um, and, and then when I got it home and I was able to put it on, I was like, oh, my God. Now, it's hugging now. You know what I'm saying? Because your girl's more of a medium. <laughs> it's hugging like a son of a gun. But, it's, it, yeah, it do what it do, baby. Let me just go and say that. It do what it do. Baby didn't see that yet, but he will see it. If he don't see it here at my house, he'll see it at his house or um, one of our excursions. But he will see that. He will see that one. Okay. So, anyway, <clears throat> did you guys like the video? First, um, when I put the video up last night, of course, I got back a thing saying because of the music. And I think that was um, Trisha Norwood or Dixie Chicks or something. That they was playing um, when when the water thing was going on, and uh, so I couldn't help that. You know, it was just part of it, and so it was like it was saying that I had to remove the remove the music, and so I was trying to do it, but then I turned around and I fell asleep, so I wasn't able to really complete it. So I'm thinking that it was fixed, then it was no volume, and I was like, oh my god! And my phone was ringing off like crazy from my girls from the east. You know, saying, okay, Tina, we're watching the video, but there's no sound. And I kept getting these messages, there's no sound, there's no sound, all through my sleep. And I was like, oh, my God, I need to get up, but I was so tired. And so um, I got back last night. So anyway, so um, girls, when I tell you, oh, my God, I don't know. What I do know is, is that I'm happy. What I do know is that he likes me. What I do know is that I like him. And what I do know is that the vibe is so cool. Okay? I got me a partner. Okay? That ain't got no problem with it. Ain't got no problem with me coming on here clowning. Ain't got no problem with me coming up here looking crazy. Ain't got no problem with just who I am. He doesn't have a problem with it. And let me tell you something, that is so hard to find because y'all don't understand. When auntie is on here and I'm acting a fool and I'm on here and I'm cutting up, yeah, it's funny and stuff, but, you know, because that's just my personality to be that way. But then some men find it to be over the top. Some men might find it to be, oh my God, you know what I'm saying, she round away girl or, you know, she from the hood or, you know, anything like that. Instead of just taking it as just comedic view, they really take it as, you know, I'm uneducated or, you know, or something like that. And even like, you know, the hand few that want to hate on a sister, you know, they automatically assume that I'm uneducated, I don't, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a nothing, you know what I mean, because of certain things that I say. You know, so it's like, you know, when people meet me in person and really realize that I'm just a giddy person anyway, and, you know, that's just antics. You know, that's just me cutting up. You know what I mean? I'm just on one that day, probably put one up in the air, and I'm just, I'm just on my, I'm on my own thing. I'm vibing and I'm cool. But, you know, some people don't receive it that way. So, you know, and then him, you know, he... He sought me out, okay? Let's just be crystal clear on that. So when this shit all, because it's not going to get out by me. Now, one of my boys call, uh, was on my Facebook. Carl, what's up, baby? Because I just hung up the phone with him. And, you know, he was like, <laughs> you know, you need to call me. You know what I mean? After I put the video up, he's like, you need to call me. What's going on? Woo -da -woo -da -woo -woo -woo. You know what I mean? And so, right off the top, when I, when, as soon as I called him a while ago, he was like, well, I'm not going to even ask the specifics uh, about his name and all that kind of stuff. I'm just happy that you're happy, and I, that's good enough for me. But, yeah, I, I, I see where you at with these. And, listen. I can't call it, man. I can't I can't call it. Somebody got to live this life. I'm not saying that my life is just so posh and, you know, I got buku money and I'm rich and I'm this and that. None of that. 
I just live. I just simply live my life in color. I believe in the law of attraction. I am big on prayer. I talk things into existence, and I'm big on that. You know what I mean? I'm big on certain things. You know, I'm spiritually sound. I live a very homeostasis, a homeostasis life. Okay, my life is pretty much level. Okay, and and the highs and lows and different things. You know, that, that everybody go through. I go through the bullshit, too. I'm, I'm, listen, I'm no celebrity, okay? I'm just Tina from Compton to come on here and cut up sometime, okay? Some people might see me as other things, but honestly, me, I'm just simply peanut butter and jelly. You know what I mean? I'm a commodity look. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I look at it, you know? But some people look at it a little bit differently. And then he looks at me as I am just the coolest whatever, you know. And he thinks that I'm so cute. Thank you, baby. And he just he just enjoys my vibe, you know. And I don't have to be nobody else, you know what I mean. I don't have to put on no extra errors or all those kind of things. And that's what makes it so cool, you know what I mean. And then in him with me, I'm not chalking him up for what it is that he do. You know what I mean? On what his earning capacity is. You know, I'm more concerned of his learning capacity. I'm more concerned of, can I learn from you? Can I grow with you? Can we build on some shit? You know, I don't give a fuck about how much money he makes. That's evident that he makes them. I mean, he makes a, a decent living. But the thing is, it's not about that for me. And I'm not thirsty for it because I have my own stuff. And I think, you know, just like I was talking to my boy a few minutes ago, he was like, well, Tina, you know, a lot of women out here don't have it, you know. So then, uh, therefore, you know, us brothers, hell, you know, brother that got a little something, you know, shit, women is willing to do whatever, you know what I'm saying, because a brother got it. Well, I guess I didn't, when I, when we first connected, I wasn't all on all that like that. I wasn't on it like that for the simple fact that, you know, I'm I'm pretty comfortable too. No, I don't have as much money as my baby have. I don't have all that. You know what I mean? I I ain't got how how he got it like. But what I have is mine. What I have is affordable for me, and I'm comfortable with it. It ain't raggedy and tow back. It's none of that. It ain't no house on a hill. I ain't got no mansion and no maid servants and none of that. You know what I'm saying? I run my own shop, but I'm just comfortable. And I'm in zen. And I'm having fun with it. I'm not hurried or rushed. You know, I'm not stressed. And this is just, I'm living. I call it living. I'm just having fun. You know, and it's like somebody got to do it. You know what I mean? I put in, y'all ain't even understanding how much, how much I prayed for this moment. Y'all ain't even understanding how much I cried and how much I had to make conscientious decisions and choices to get here. So don't hate on me. You know what I mean? It was a long road to get to right here. 20 years. You understand me? So yeah, no, no. This ain't no overnight, okay, I'm just going to do this right here and then I'm just going to... No, that's why I'm telling you, young, you young ladies. Whatever your reality is right now, that might not be your reality in 20 years from now. So you got to make the changes that you need to make now. So then therefore, when you get my age... Then therefore, and your kids are able to self-sustain and self-do their own stuff. Then therefore, you're not hovering over them and you ain't all, you know what I'm saying? Because you've instilled some good values and, and decision-making in them. The whereas you don't have to hover over them because in the back of their mind, oh, mama ain't going to go for it. You know what I mean? They kind of know right from wrong. You can kind of, you know, get a break. Get a breather, you know? And so... I'm telling you guys, start making some good choices and good decisions. Start writing that down. Start journaling and all that kind of stuff. And start calling some things into your life. If you don't want to date those types of guys, then don't fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? Why are you hanging over there with that group if you don't want to really be rolling with that group? You, a stimulation and association work hand in hand. So, the, the kind of people that you meet is the people that you normally hang around. If you associate yourself with certain type of people, then that's what you open yourself up to meeting you, is those type of people. Well, as for me, you know, I work in the background in the entertainment business, so then therefore, guess what? I attend entertainment uh, um, events, 
from concerts to luncheons to uh, uh, charities or whatever. You know what I mean? So then therefore, those are the caliber of men that I'm going to meet based on my assimilation. So, it wasn't like I was at 7-Eleven or fucking food for less and I met him. No, he doesn't even live out here in my area. He lives down in the L.A. Basin area. He don't live out here. You know what I mean? So, you know, I have to assimilate myself. And I wasn't looking for it. Let me just be clear on that, too. Because, baby, I know you're watching. Because you watch my little videos now. Like, it's TV. But um, I wasn't even on you like that. And then, when you asked me out a couple times, I was like, quit playing with me. I'm not going out with you. Um, I got something to do. You know what I mean? I had something to do. <laughs> Twice, I had something to do. And then I wasn't answering his phone calls. I wasn't responding to his texts right away. And I think he was more so intrigued because there are so many women out here that are willing to do whatever for a nigga that's just buying them some sizzler. You know what I mean? So it's like, and then he got all of this right here going on. Here, I'm, I, I won't say I'm just from YouTube because YouTube is, 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 is big. But, you know, I'm a life caster, okay? I'm not doing what you're doing. I'm not sitting across the table and in studios with the people that you're with, you know? But you checking for me? You looking at me like, you know, I really want to see what's up with her. 